that is as far as it is going to go. Welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. I'm going to test y'all's memory real quick. Y'all remember that video that I posted right before Season 12 went live? And I used the MG3 on Victorian Station. And I had on a white outfit. And I said, you know what's crazy? Right after this encounter, right after it, Season 12 went live. So, I decided... I decided, I said, well, let me go ahead and try to recreate what I did with that video. Now, what's different? Obviously, my uniform. But, we all know that LMG meta now. We all know about it. Now, why did they decide to nerf my beloved HBRT? I don't know. It was just there minding its business, and then all of a sudden a nerf back came and was like, bop. You know what I'm saying? But, I decided to take out the MG3. Because, if I can do well post-buff, then I should be okay, or at least at minimal, okay. Wait, wait, wait a minute, no. I should, if I did well pre-buff, then I should do minimal okay post buff you know what I'm saying now as far as my H bar T goes I'll still love it buff it nerf it I'll still love it now about this encounter about this encounter y'all heard those gunshots earlier from what sounds like an L85 and something else too yeah y'all already know what's up I'm an audible predator. Whatever I hear, I go investigate.
looking back and watching this video back as I'm recording it, how the fuck did I not see that guy in that bush? How? How did I not see him? But that's what happens when you're tunnel vision. When you're focused on what's in front of you, you miss out on what's happening around you. Like homeboy in imitating a rotisserie chicken in the snow. You know what I'm saying? But, moving forward with the encounter, all of a sudden, I got body armor. Now, if I know my weapons right, there should be an HRT in somebody's box. But I can't worry about that right now. That's the HRT I was looking for. So the only reason why I should go and loot that box is to find some more healing stuff. Because at this point, I feel like I'm going to need it. You see, there are different types of gunshots in this game. If I'm in your lobby and you hear one single gunshot, somebody died. If you're walking along a path and you get sprayed at, that's somebody who's probably playing the game like normal people play the game and will shoot at you because they're in front of you. But if you're running away from somebody and they just spray in your general direction, they're trying to kill you. They're trying to kill you without any kind of remorse. Without any kind of remorse. So, what sucks is this. I don't find an HRT. It's in his hands. However, I do find an M16. We all know the MG3 literally shits out bullets. But an M16, it hurts. You know, it, it's a it's a great value bugle. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm sorry to all my Dunkin' Donuts lovers out there. If Krispy Kreme is the bugle, Dunkin' Donuts is the M16. It, it'll get the job done, just not as pretty or quick. You know what I'm saying? So the sweat has now used the detector. And I'm over here running toward the center of town because if I can hear him, more than likely I can shut off his body armor. But it's going to be a ambush type shot. I'm not going to pull off a headshot on him. Now I see how he was moving. Homeboy was literally ultra instincting before he needed to use ultra instinct. But as you can clearly hear, he's not worried about me. Y'all know that feeling of get the hell out of here before something happens to you? That's what's hitting me right now. I call the shot that says, if you don't run right now, by the time one of them gets done killing each other, 
Guess what's gonna happen? Your ass gonna be next. So I decided to bounce. I understand I had a shot on him while he was prone, but guess what? If I shot at him and didn't kill him, guess who he's coming after? Me. And I'm prone with an MG3. And we've seen how both of them move. If I'm gonna shoot him, I gotta kill him. But chances are, A, they have on body armor, and B, do you know how hard it is to hit somebody prone while they're moving? Like, hit somebody crawling in the head? Yeah, that's, it's not gonna work out. Now, was I right in my call of get the hell out of here before your ass ends up becoming the next best delicious plate on their menu? Yes. Imagine if I was still in that town while homeboy is currently using that detector. Imagine that. So did I dodge a bullet? No. Did I dodge about a full H bar T clips worth or a full L85 clips worth of bullets? You're damn right. You're damn right. It's not a matter of kill who you see. It's a matter of kill what you can. Kill what you see is a switch mentality. Kill what you can and know what you can kill is my mentality. The only way I was gonna kill either one of those guys was if they walked into a headshot while they were ultra instincting. You know what I'm saying? I like surviving my games. I don't wanna take unnecessary risks. You know what I'm saying? And shooting at any one of those guys was an unnecessary risk. If they didn't know I was there, let it stay that way. Let me escape with my two kills and my M16. And look, how can you get mad at 6.3k experience? That's a lot of experience. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I called the shots right in this one. And before you say, no you didn't. Well, if I didn't call the shots right, I would have been dead. When he, when he call a shot wrong, if he do anything in this game wrong, what does that bring you, death? I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.